The one thing that every good man wants for his wife is for her to be happy. When you ask them this question, that is what they tell you. I just want my wife to be happy. Even when he has not married her, I just want her to be happy. They're good men. It is not in your power to make a woman happy. You can only try. I mean, being a good man is enough. Being loving, caring, understanding, hardworking, remorseful when you've done something wrong and being a provider, it's enough. Trying so much and going out of your way and doing things that are not even humanly possible just to make your wife happy is not going to cut it. If she is not genuinely happy, then you won't be able to make her happy. Remember how they say, you are not El Shaddai or else you shall buy. <laughs> it's as simple as that. You shall buy. See, happiness comes from the inside. No matter what you do for a woman, say to a woman, wherever you take her to, no matter the kind of luxury you expose her to, if she does not find happiness from within herself, then she would never be happy. I'm talking about genuine and true happiness. Not, um, oh, he got me a car and then she's excited for five minutes. And after five minutes, she goes back into her gloominess, her moodiness, her sadness. And you keep wondering, what is happening? What can I do? You can't do anything. It is not in your place, in your within your powers to make a woman who does not want to find happiness within herself happy. Except you won't buy yourself. Otherwise, it's not in your place. You just continue to be a good man, a good person. Continue to do those things that makes you and qualify you to be called a good man. When you look at statistics these days, you see that a lot of men kind of live young, right? They just go very young, you know, 55, barely 58, and he's already gone. Because the pressure is too much. The expectations are too much. And at the end of the day, it is not even a guarantee of happiness. Happiness comes from the inside. If that woman is troubled from the inside, if something is taking away her joy, it is not you who would solve it. If she needs help, point her to the right direction. Take her to the right place. Let her find help. Stop being El Shaddai. Not be your job. You know, if you be Jesus, there's only one Jesus and you don't come die. You don't go. If not be so, now you go fall. And what will happen? She's going to move on. A lot of us women carry so many traumas that is stopping us from being happy. Until we come to realize that, okay, this thing, this hurt, that someone, something that someone has done to me 15 years ago, sometimes we don't even realize that the reason why we behave a certain way is because of the trauma we had so so and so so time. Most of these things is when you go for therapy, that's when these things are revealed. That, that's when an understanding flows in and we begin to think back and we realize that, oh, okay, this is now why are they do like this? This is now why are they do like that? So you trying on the surface to, you know, scratching the surface. Meanwhile, whatever is causing that sadness is seated deep inside of her heart or is there engraved in her brain or something. You won't be able to pull through. So for women, we need to be able to find happiness from within our heart, from within ourselves. Develop hobbies. Look for things that will keep you busy. Develop your interests so that your attention will not just be on the man. Every minute, man. One hour, man. Every time of the day. No, if you have other things you're doing, trust me, you won't be able to be centering your focus on a man. That way, whatever he does, you appreciate him more. And because now you have other ways to keep yourself busy, find fulfillment in yourself, you're going to be genuinely happy, right? I have seen women who are internally sad. Like they even project that sadness on you. If you're in that environment because of the energy, because of the energy in that environment, it's going to affect you. Your peace of mind will be lost. And sometimes I think to myself, the men that marry this woman, how do they cope? Like how they no go buy young when you did for that kind of energy consistently for so many years. Somebody is exuding with a lot of negative energy, a lot of narcissistic energy, a lot of sadness. They project it onto you. If they see you as maybe you're trying to look bright or you're, you know, they just try to dim your light in any way possible. This is someone who is truly sad. 
this is someone who is truly hurting. Remember they say, hot people hurt others. Sad people try to make others sad. How do people become saddest? They become saddest because they have been sad all the days of their life. A lot of sad things. Their heart is full of sadness. So they begin to project sadness on people. They begin to inflict pains on people just to make them sad. That way, they now derive joy from seeing people being sad. So this thing is very deep. Dear good men, this message is for you. Stop trying too much. No go by before your time. There's a whole lot to this life than marriage, than relationship, all right? I am saying this with emphasis because I have seen these things happen a lot of the time. I've seen a situation where a woman was telling her husband, you have to pull these kids out of this school and put them in a particular school because that is where I want them to be. And the man is saying, but the funding is not available for now. Let us wait. And she's saying, no. That place is where they are supposed to be. That is where the caliber of, you know, that is where my friend's kids are. They have to be there. Putting unnecessary pressure on the man. Now, the man wants to make his wife happy because what do we say? Happy wife, happy life, right? Because you want the wife to be happy, you go out of your way to try and provide. You go out of your way to try and borrow and then the pressure is just on you, pressing you down. And before you know, you go, yes, yeah, uh, Sylvanus, that one, you don't buy now. Stop putting so much pressure on yourself because you want to make someone who is not genuinely happy, happy. Why would you insist that kids be taken to a certain school even when you know that the money is not available? Is that not wickedness? Not be wickedness. You want to make it go thief, make it go break bank. So men, please, this is just the simple truth. As it is, you're already a good man. Any woman that is wise, that has wisdom, would appreciate you and know that God has blessed me with a good man and she's going to take care of you and you stay, you know, you stay together. If God blesses you with long life, you live a very good, long and happy life. But a woman who does not even recognize that you're a good man is selfish she doesn't almost see beyond herself to realize that this man is actually trying. She's putting all the pressures on you. Every two years, you must change her car. You whether money day or money new day, don't you know that you're supposed to change my car? Or every birthday, you're supposed to do one very, very big project for her. If you no can't do them, um, does you not know that it's my birthday? Putting unnecessary pressure, being unnecessarily materialistic, even when she knows that there is no money. And you, because you want her to be happy, of course, you're a good man. You want your wife to be happy. You keep bending to these pressures, bending to these pressures. One day you go bend, you know, go feel stand up again. Pity yourself. Pity yourself. Some of us women, you know, feel satisfy us. Now the truth be that. Some of us, I don't know where our satisfaction will come from. Maybe that man will go satisfy us. God never creates him. I don't know. So stop putting yourself under so much pressure i don't know who i'm telling this to but please if you're in this situation rise up prioritize your own happiness for once if you don't have you don't have you can't continue to borrow just because you want to please someone that is not that is not ideal i know that yes it's good to be a provider you're the man you're the king but if you don't have you respect yourself and inside your ass Enter inside your house. Nobody give yourself a headache or necessary headache. Going to say she won't change her car. What's going to happen to the old one? If money did, fine. If money no day, respect yourself. So that you know, will be a different story. Hmm? And for our ladies who are always putting all these pressures on men, sister, calm down. This man will see, no be eye on no. If you break, oh. <laughs> If you break, oh, no, the reason say now nah, human be like you, be oh. no, the reason say because it be man, it be you no know, be man, you know be you no know, be man. You know, if he break, that is the honest truth. He can melt down. So stop putting unnecessary pressures. If you want some things and if he doesn't have the money, you can walk, earn your money and do whatever you want to do with it. If you know you have problem of sadness, I don't see this sadness thing. I don't see it too much. That's why they make this video. If you know you have problem of inability to find happiness within yourself, seek help. 
seek help, work on yourself, look for hobbies, look for ways where things that will take your attention away from that man a little bit, away from the family a little bit. Just have like a balanced life. Make you not just be say your focus every minute of the day now, man, man, man. No. Develop hobbies, learn skills. People learn new skills every day. Just try and diversify your thought a little bit so that it won't be that any time that someone is around you, the energy is so tensed. Girl, seek help for yourself. Do things for yourself. Be happy on your own. That is a true happiness. Any happiness that doesn't come from the inside is not a true happiness. Happiness is supposed to come from the inside and it will radiate on the outside to show that you're happy if you're genuinely happy from the depth of your heart. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you for seeing me for the first time. My name is Wendy Zill. Thank you for clicking. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and turn on your post notification bell so any other time I post video, you'll be notified. Thank you so much. Stay cheerful, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.